Q3 was a breakout quarter for global PE deal activity. After a sluggish first half, deal activity is now on track for a 10-20% gain in 2024, with Europe holding an edge. Exits also progressed steadily, with a 13% increase in value on flattish deal count, this time North America leading the way. Turning to the macro backdrop, we had the rare combination of a U.S. presidential election paired with a U.S. rate cut cycle, so we want to take a closer look at the historic impact of private equity investing. Any look back at PE history is limited to the year 2000 and beyond, Prior to then, the industry was still in its infancy. Still, some basic patterns can't be seen. Surprisingly, presidential elections haven't impacted M&A closings in the weeks before, during, and after an election. Instead, dealmakers make the decision to sidestep election many months before, followed by a nice bump in December as those postponed deals are closed. There have only been three U.S. Fed rate cut cycles in PE short life. While not perfect, the closest comparison was the 2001 rate cut cycle when it took a full two years for exit activity to recover. This confirms what GPs have been communicating. They intend to use lower rates to buy first and sell later. Should the same script play out in 2024, we should see further acceleration of PE buying, especially post-election, with exits gathering strength on a lag basis.